Hey guys, Fire here, bringing you another f first impressions video. This time we're just checking out Enclave HD. This game is currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at $20, and thought I'd show off this action RPG role-playing game for you guys. So let's just dive on in. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, you know, I, I like playing on the lower difficulties, so we gotta, gotta at least just enjoy the story. Kind of a cool menu. Uh, we'll name it Fire, as we name everything here on the channel. And if I like the old like keyboard kind of thing, light or okay, we want to do light. All right, let's dive in. Scripted within an ancient tome, which lies beneath centuries of dust in the guarded library of Mechalon is the story of how the rift was formed. Though most cannot recall a time when the rift did not divide the Enclave and the Outlands, they were at one time unified. At that time, there were lands where the very essence of magic was believed to dwell, for they were lush and prosperous. All who did not hold the secrets of the soil, which were protected by the Pact of Jifuro, coveted these lands fiercely. The great demon Vatar was among these envious creatures, for he believed that with the magic of these lands in his grasp, he would surely become invincible. And so, he led his army to attack the dwellers of the land, and lay claim to it for himself. The battle raged on and on, until at last the mighty wizard Zael stood alone against Vatar to protect the lands. When all hope seemed lost, and Vatar's victory imminent, Zael struck the final, fatal blow. With a roar of anger and anguish, the wizard slammed his staff into the ground. The world trembled and then parted beneath Vatar's feet. A scream of outrage erupted from the demon's throat as he fell to his defeat. However, Victory did not come without a price. The chasm that grew from this powerful blast of magic was too vast to be traversed, and the people were separated as much as the lands. Those who had come to aid their brothers in fighting against the demon's army returned to their home called Mechalon with stunned minds and heavy hearts. The Pact of Jifuro had been broken and they had become separated from their brothers. The denizens of the Outlands, a dark and selfish people, became known as the Greg Attar, and the enclave of Magic Land, which had been divided from the rest, formed a peaceful city called Selenheim. In time, all wounds are healed, for in the lengthy span since it was torn asunder, it seems that the magic inherent within the world has begun to knit the land back together. The rift grows smaller and can even be crossed in certain locations. Though it should be a time of celebration and rejoicing, such is not the case. For despite the passage of time, the greedy Dregatar still lust after the lands of magic. Raid after raid has been sent into the Enclave in hopes of weakening it for the major attack the Dregatar intend to wage as soon as they are able. Crops burned and possessions stolen, Selenheim has been thrown into a state of extreme unrest. Heavy taxes are levied upon the people to help pay for the city's defense. This has led to uprisings within the Enclave, and some of its inhabitants have landed in jail, along with the true enemy. And it is here that our story begins, a few rebellious grains of sand within the ever-turning hourglass of life. Alright, f f f first all, like, th this having nar narration's pretty cool. Prison their own too, I see. 
The sound you are hearing is the sound of your death. The rolling thunder of my fellow Outlanders. The sound of the Dregatar slaughtering your kind and scaling the walls of this puny fortress. They are coming to set me free. And if they don't get to you first, I will personally rip you apart with my It's an interesting threat. Kind of gives me like a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of. Okay, this definitely has some like old school visuals. Uh, I think I need to go in here. I have to invert the or uninvert the controls. Is that an option? Yes. There we go. That feels better. Okay, so we have a sword. Can we break things? I don't think so. What's in here? Is this like a weird torture chamber? Okay. Um, what are we gonna have to attack? I still don't know if I can run. Haven't figured They're that out. They're attacking us! How do I go forward? Is there some way I'm missing? How do, how do I make the door open? There's obviously a way to open this door somehow, but I don't see it, so let's go backwards. Maybe something ha happened behind me. Oh! Oh! Okay, a bunch of stuff broke. I still don't know if I'm supposed to be going a different direction. Oh, there's a lever? Oh, I I interesting. I still don't know how I get up to that thing. But we'll go this way. Uh, crouch. Well, let's keep going through these creepy, creepy tunnels. Very uh, interesting game so far. Alright, uh, wait. Nope. Why did I f fall off there? I, I, I don't quite know why. Nope. Just let me climb. Come on. Don't shut the door on my head. Okay, we, we made it. Press B. Switch items. Activate the shield. Okay, so we killed the, that guy. Now what do I do? Okay, so that guy's dead. But I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, that's what I got to do. And we'll keep moving. Here's another guy. Alright, let's go take this guy out. No, you're not running away from me, little buddy. Okay, I still feel like I need to explore. So I, I want to go back to down here for a, a little bit. Wow, stuff just falls everywhere, doesn't it? Okay. I don't know. Somebody's stuck in the... Oh, hey, more people. Well, they weren't expecting me, I don't think. So we can he heal up. Come on, guys. Stop throwing things at me. Just let me escape this area. Um, is that more health potions? 
we go. Oh, they're just coming through the ceilings. Okay. Picking up more gold. This definitely has like a late PS2 era or early Xbox like era vibe for, for, for sure. Not modern day graphics by any means. Okay, so now where, where do we go? Can I open this door? Oh, okay, cool. Another brave warrior. We should join forces. Okay, will you just f follow me now? Okay, we f finished the mission. Hey, it looks like we got our f first achievement. That's cool. Um, found some items. Sounds good. We got a couple things. Ilion Outpost. Let's go there. Protect the outpost. Yeah, it's a, it, it, interesting. It kind of gives me like a n nostalgic kind of game vibe. Um, and, and I kind of like that there's two different campaign lines, I guess. I'd be curious to know like how long they are. Or rough idea. I know the game's still new, so not really a, a information I can hey, e easily I can get to find. Here. The courtyard is crowded with enemies. I'm here to help. Calm, calm down. So switch weapons. Okay, the crossbow's kind of cool. I kind of want to just keep the crossbow oh, out as long as now I can. Save the outpost. Okay. Oh, more gold. Okay, do we go in here? No, no. I guess maybe just continue forward. No. The game does leave a, a, a lot of I don't know what to do kind of stuff with it, so it's uh it's I I interesting. I flipped the switch, so what's it want me to do now? Should I, like, shoot this and burn a door down or something? I don't see a switch. Hmm. I think that was just, like, a torch or something. Do we need to head back the way we just came? I don't think anything was in here. No. Hmm. So where? Oh, we can go first person. Okay, I kind of like for first person a, a little better. Get our sword out. Yeah. Wait, that doesn't really do anything. I feel like this is where we need to go. But we're not really getting anywhere. See, this game's kind of leaving me a little perplexed. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. I didn't want to drink that. Am I supposed to, like... Oh, use the cannon. Okay. So we got in here a little bit more. So let's get our sword and shield out. What is that? Is he going to blow up the door? Oh, it's, it's, it's a fuse. This guy seems very creepy. Okay, more bombs are blowing up, okay. So is there three of us in our group now? Is, is that what I'm kidding? I think we found a third guy. Did you just like say dinner when you saw me? You're not- I'm not dinner and you're dead. Just ex accept it. Some of these <laughs> noises just don't quite add up to the characters. But 
But yeah, we'll, we'll just keep knocking them out. That's not a big deal on my end. I'll just kind of keep pushing forward here. I, I do kind of find it comical how short they all are. Oh, an enemy crossbow guy. Okay, we'll watch out there. I'm just going to keep pushing forward. As much as I don't really know where, what else we're supposed to kind of be pushing toward. Don't th throw a box at me, that's kind of rude. Why aren't you dead? I hit you enough. You should have died. We'll get some more health. Pick up all the little gold that we can. And let's get to the top, to top of this tower. Oh, what a jerk. You would break the ladder. Oh, is this like a catapult? Or trebuchet? What is he doing? Is he... Oh, 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 he's opening the doors. I need a key to open the door. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. I think we need to head back down and try to like to defend things, maybe. Yeah, let's keep going to down. I think our team needs help. Okay, we found a little bit of gold at the bottom. That's always good. I just want to get back up to where the rest of my team was. Oh, okay. Yep, you can get killed now. I can't allow that. Looks like there's this... Yeah, we got to take out this tre trebuchet-looking thing. I wish I actually had teammates out here helping me, though. Unless they're still kind of in the tower. Those crossbow guys are pretty tough. Okay, I gotta get this guy dead. And this giant guy can keep chasing me all, all he wants. And I'll just take you down too. Alright. I think we might have, might have finished that mission. Okay, there we go. It's an, another mission down. Okay, you know, it's it's an I interesting game. Uh, the missions are pretty simplistic, but it really does kind of give me the, like, old school, early, like... Like early 2000s generations of console games, um, but you know it's not 100% like my style and th theme. But you know maybe this you is a good a chance for you guys service. to see uh, a Helping little bit of the and game. Helping off these vile invaders despite your imprisonment is bold to say the least. Isn't this the same one that we had arrested earlier? You expect us to believe that these people are loyal to us when they won't even pay the taxes that they owe? Be gone. Got some trust issues. My star. It is true that you have committed a crime against us. Yet it seems you are willing to prove your loyalty to Selenheim. Because of this, I will offer you a proposition. If you continue to serve our cause and assist us in this action, you will receive full pardons and be embraced as honored warriors henceforth. There is a merchant named Marcus in the town of Seladia. He is very important to the Enclave, as he is the last merchant willing to transverse the rift and bring us supplies that are badly needed if we are to have any hope of withstanding the more frequent raids of the Dregatar. I have received word that the Dregatar have assaulted his convoys and attempted to assassinate him. He must be protected. We won't survive long without him. Oh, 
and I think the game just crashed. Okay, well, I guess maybe there's some things that could be kind of worked on with the game, just, just a smidge. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. If you did, you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe checking out one of the other two videos on the screen. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time.